The More You Ignore Me was written by Jo Brand from her book and was set in the 1980s. And um, we knew that um, it was going to be quite a low budget. So uh, with that in mind, we um, my creative vision came from two things. The first thing is to try and capture the, the 1980s as I remembered it, which is not quite the stuff of um, big city life because I grew up in the country and um, in the middle of nowhere, a bit like the, the, the characters in, in the book and, and in the film. And, um, and the 1980s was a sort of period of transition from um, the sort of 1970s um, bright sort of colors to a more uh, neutral brown and, and, um, and silver tone, to be honest. And then the second one was um, I grew up, um, my sister was profoundly deaf. So I was stuck during summer holidays quite often at home with her being in the middle of nowhere, looking after her while my parents worked. Um, so um, that sense of isolation was another big thing that I wanted to get um, in the film. And the, and the sense that you start to kick back against it and think that um, you've been treated badly by the world because you can't quite do the things that other people can do because you're there with responsibility and because the lead character in the film um played by sheridan smith um is is schizophrenic um that then her daughter um played by ella hunt um is trapped within the family home um having to make sure that she's looking after her rather than having fun um that sounds a bit bleak, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's quite a fun story, and and we had a lot of fun as well. Well, with Joe, it was fantastic. I mean, basically, she'd already gone through another director who she didn't quite get on with, and um, so I was the second director to come in on the project. Um, it was, and we immediately clicked. We have a very similar sense of humour, um, and uh, we uh, worked on the script together and met up. Um, through in between her busy commitments um, to try and get pull it together and um, and she generally sort of um, listened to me and I listened to her and we we formulated the the script from that which is very different to the book. I feel there's a lot of uh, negative things said about schizophrenia and so did, so did Joe um, obviously with her expertise in the field and everything in the in the film is based upon something that happened to her or something that happened to a colleague of hers um, when she was in the mental health system herself. We had Mark Addy playing the father, Keith, who was brilliant, excellent, and, and played a sort of against type, somebody who can't quite cope, who's struggling along. Uh, well, we have, we have Clive Mantle who plays Dunk, who is a truck driver and you imagine that he's going to be a rough old truck driver but again he's looking for love he's looking for something so again what he's playing against his type and um we had sally phillips playing the doctor who is playing against uh normal doctor types of being someone that that can't really cope within the situation you know rather than being somebody that that is a, a good pair of hands she's a somebody that's just managing to keep her pe pair of hands together if you know what I mean to to get through we try to bring those people in together um and luckily because of Joe's um script and because um of the subject matter all of the actors that we wanted to go for um we went for um and uh, sheridan smith does a fantastic um uh does a fantastic fantastic performance um given that she really jumped in at the uh, in the deep end and uh, as she, it was very widely known at the time she was having a lot of problems herself personally um, her father died during the shoot and so, so she had to leave the shoot and various other things so she she's given a fantastic performance that was based upon reality I mean a lot of people say oh it's a bit sort of wild and and but actually we we had a mental health czar who was who was um on board and was guiding us through the shoot and and it's exactly uh, you'd be surprised at at, at how these swings of mood within schizophrenia can can um, can take you in all sorts of bizarre 
ways really it's um it's about real events that happened in hungary in 2006 um at the time it was a socialist government um in power uh, led by a very um charming man in certain ways um as prime minister and um he then suddenly admitted that for the past five years or 10 years or whatever it was that um they had been telling lies about the state of the nation and that actually they were bankrupt it's really also a story about one woman called reka who gets embroiled in this political scandal and um I, I, and she discovers and uncovers certain things um that are around the scandal it's a pretty big action sequences um a love story um various other bits and pieces but basically people have got to talk about this subject particularly in those countries and i felt that if if other people didn't if i didn't then another director would and they wouldn't ask the questions about it that i asked it and i i give the film board their due and the producers mega film of mega film they due that they allowed me to have a a, a freeish reign with the script and the way it was um presented um no i've really enjoyed it and it's been it, it's it's coming out in october so so hopefully people are going to um there'll be a lot of talk about it i think